Welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Review. In just a bit, I'm about to hit the road to check out the new horror film, Late Night with the Devil. So what's the plot of this film? It tells the story of a late night TV show host who decides to kick it up a notch on one of his late night broadcasts and has a guest come on who may or may not be possessed by the devil. This is a found footage horror film that's set in the 1970s, which is two things I absolutely love about horror. I love horror films that are either set in the 70s or are from the 70s. I love 70s horror. It's one of my favorite time periods. And also, it's found footage. I love a good found footage horror film, so I am really excited to get out the door to check this film out. This movie is also a Shudder exclusive, so if it's not in theaters in your area, in your neck of the woods, keep your eyes open for it. I believe it's coming out in April. So if this is a film that interests you, later in the review at all, just letting you know it's a Shudder original and you'll be able to find it out there. So anyways guys, it's enough of me yammering and jabber jabbing jammering on it is time for me to hit the road because i need to check out late night with the devil Welcome back. Just getting home, and you know what, guys? I really enjoyed this movie. This movie was really well made from beginning to end. So let's get this started. We're going to get things started with the negatives and then move into the positives to end the video on the ever so important high note. Now, before I get this started with the negatives, I'd like to say that I don't really follow a lot of Hollywood drama and gossip and things of that sort. So, what I'm about to say, I did not know going into this movie. But there is some point in the film where we see some AI art. It happens fast, it just pops up on the screen, and then it's over. It's one of those bumps like when you're about to go into a commercial break on TV shows, especially back then. They would put something up on the screen and say, we'll be right back. And then they would you know, have a picture or something, and then it'd go to commercial break. Well, there was a few of them that looked perfectly normal, and then out of nowhere, there was this weird skeleton one. And it just sat wrong with me. Like, there was just something about it my brain was telling me it didn't look right. And then it popped up again, and I'm like, that just doesn't look right. And so that's what led me to believe to look it up to find out what the heck was going on there. And that's when I found out about the AI art. Now, this is all I'm going to say about it. I'm not a big fan of the idea of using AI art. When I look at a film like this, I'm going to compare it to another movie. If you go back to my Halloween special from last year, I covered a film called WNUF Halloween Special. And it's very similar to this movie. It's a news broadcast from the 1980s where people go into a haunted house, it's found footage, blah, 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 and it's made to look like a news broadcast from that time period. And the people who made that film went to lengths tons of links to make that film look as authentic and realistic as they possibly could. They made fake commercials, they drew their own little bumps, all of that. They did their own work. And so I get it, I understand that a lot of work and a lot of effort goes into making a film, okay? I'm not a movie maker, all right? So I'm kind of talking out of my ass. But at the same time, I feel like something like one of those little bumps I, I feel like a good graphic artist could have just banged one of those out in an afternoon. And I again, I'm not somebody who knows much about art. I'm not someone who knows much about movie making. It just seems... It, it was just one tiny little detail. One tiny little detail for a brief moment in time took me out of the film and then everything went back to normal. So if I have to be nitpicky and find one tiny little thing about this movie that annoyed me, I'm going with that. So let's go into the positives, shall we? Okay, so... 
Despite the weird AI art that was used in one tiny little millisecond of the scene, this entire film is extremely well made, extremely authentic, and it looks amazing. It looks like a broadcast from that time period. I bet they did film this entire movie on on video or they used filters and such in the digital process to make it look that way. The point is is that it looks excellent. The color degradation, the way it jumps just a little bit, some of the dubbing is just slightly off just a little bit, just stuff that you would have noticed way back when at a live broadcast late night TV show from its time period. It really works well and I am telling you, save for that one little blemish, every little detail of this film looks outstanding. The set looks amazing. It literally looks like one of those talk shows from that time period. The clothing, the costuming, the dialogue, everything was extremely well made and well done. This movie really does take you back to that time period while you're watching it. I loved the way this film was presented. Very beginning of the movie, they let you know what's going on. It's like a documentary, basically. Like, okay, so here's a little background on the, this person who hosted this TV show. We're going to get into this. We're going to talk about this. So here we go. This is the last broadcast. I liked the way they did that. Plus, they even tell you at the beginning of it, oh, there was, for some reason, somebody documenting stuff behind the scenes also. So I liked the fact that they were able to do something like that to be able able to give a little bit more depth and story and characterization behind the scenes in between commercial breaks and all. It really felt much more authentic when they did that. I thought the acting in this film was outstanding. Everyone in this movie just absolutely owns it, knocks it out of the ballpark. This film is very well made, very well crafted, and yes, this movie is scary. This is a film that will keep you on the edge of your seat because the title tells you what is going to happen. The name of the movie is Late Night with the Devil. So you know, you know something crazy is going to happen in this film. You know we're going to have some weird ass possession shit that's about to happen. And the movie does a great job of building up to that. Remember, these talk shows never start off with their big guest at first. They always want to end with the big show. So the movie does a good job of making this feel like an actual TV show. You start off with some of the lesser guests and then everything escalates up to the main event. And that's exactly what this film does. This isn't necessarily a slow burn. It keeps you going the entire time. The movie feels like you're just you're just waiting the whole time. You know something's going to happen. You're just waiting and waiting and waiting. You just never know when it's going to happen. You don't know if it's going to follow the typical things. You don't know if it's just all of a sudden out of nowhere a monster's just going to rip someone's head off. It just leaves you with that vibe throughout the entire film. Guys, this is a very, very solid, fun, get out there and see it horror movies. This will show up on a Shutter in April. I'm going to guess. I think it was April 12th. I'm not 100% on that. Just keep your eyes open. If you do not have this in theaters where you are, wait for it on Shutter. And I will tell you, to be perfectly honest, get the free subscription to Shutter to check this movie out. Get the free subscription to Shutter. Check out some more stuff on Shutter and see if you want to keep it because this is definitely a movie that it, it, it can get you to join the service, to be perfectly honest. It's that good of a movie. It's a very solid must-see horror film for anybody who enjoys found footage horror and possession films. I think that this was a very well put, put together, well presented film for both of those genres. Both genres that need a little bit of spicing up these days. We've all seen the possession films. We all know them by heart. We've seen plenty of the found footage films, but what I loved about this movie was it brings a little bit of new spice to those genres just to keep them going. Well, all right, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications and give me the old thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and if there's one more thing you could do folks that is keep watching movies you know i'm gonna